Day quick one today, sitting here on a beautiful Colorado day, out enjoying some of the last bits of summer, which is waning, but I wanted to share a little bit more on the difference between a syndicated deal or direct investment versus a real estate investment trust. I think everybody understands the value at this point of getting access and ownership of real estate. So sometimes people decide that they want to invest in a real estate investment trust and think that they're giving the same or getting the same level of ownership that they get by being a limited partner in a passive real estate deal. And the answer is that is not true. When you are a part of a REIT, you own shares in a company that owns real estate. So the company gets all the benefits of owning the real estate and you get to participate in the dividends and the profits that that company then shares with you. But when you are a direct owner in a real estate syndication, you're actually getting all the benefits that come along with owning the real estate. And you can tell in the difference of how you are um, taxed at the end of the year. When you are a part of a REIT, you're gonna be getting a 1099. When you're a part of a real estate syndication, you're gonna be getting a K-1. So as a direct owner of real estate in a syndication, you get all the benefits of owning real estate, which are the cash flow, the appreciation, the loan pay down, and the tax write-off, which can, in a lot of cases, offset the income and cash flow that you're receiving from that property. For more tips, subscribe and jump over to thegrowthvue.com.